Hey guys, welcome to another kernel tutorial and today we're going to take a look at how to create some nice looking clouds using kernel volume material. So we are starting with just a plain uh, empty scene, default scene, uh, kernel setters render and uh, settings are complete defaults. Uh, as this is going to be a kind of exterior scene, first thing we want to do is change uh, the secondary solver to be path tracing. Okay, so now let's introduce some lighting in our scene by using Corona's daylight system. So just Corona Sun. At Corona Sky, we need some object. We are going to start using, uh, we're going to start with Geosphere because it has even distribution of topology all over the sphere area. So let's just increase subdivisions uh, oops, I want to see how much polygon it has. It's like 64, seems good. Alright, so let's just grab for now default kernel kind of material, assign it, render, and adjust the exposure. I also want to tweak our sky a little bit because I want to see, I want the ground color to be more like C less like like dirt so let's give it some bluish tint like this yep that's more like it so if i make my camera angle more wide i'm going to also enable interactive render and of course unlock the viewport yep all right, I'm happy with the way it looks. Actually, let's make the blue to be more in the teal or cyan color. Yep. Oops. Hit OK. There we go. All right, so now that the lighting is set up, we can start uh, with some cloud material. So first of all, I'm going to uh, sculpt our geosphere to be roughly the shape of the of the cloud I want so let's make it like wider here and here and let's have it poking up and the clouds are often flat at the bottom so let's just flatten it from a few angles Let's turn off our grid for now, we do not need it. Let's make here something like more interesting, perhaps like this. Okay, so this is going to be our cloud. Now let's throw on a displace modifier. Let's grab noise, use turbulence, that's great for things like clouds, put it into displace modifier, set mapping to be spherical, luminance center at 0.5 and let's just start to play with the displace, increase levels all the way to 10 and just look around how our cloud looks doesn't look great at the moment but we're gonna fix it later i'm just trying to swap the colors to see if it gives me some better more interesting noise but it doesn't seem like it now i'm just kind of moving around with the gizmo to set a center of displacement but i think this actually looks nice i'm gonna play with the offset here just to find something also with the size maybe too small so let's try like 100 amplify the displacement even further play with the center okay this is nice base for our cloud so what i'm going to now to do now is uh, grab corona volume material 
and I'm gonna assign it. I'm gonna set since clouds are white, the scattering color to be like 230. Not com it, it shouldn't be completely white, like 100% white, or it will run re really slow, but uh, clouds are very white, so use like value from 220 to 240. And I'm going to start to increase the distance, and basically the distance parameter in this case is going to be density of our clouds, or also the scale of our clouds, basically the the bigger the clouds are, the usually uh, the more dense would they appear. So let's play with the value and for starters I'm gonna go with 0 0.5. So we already have something that is starting to look like a cloud and let's just look around if we look against the sun uh, clouds usually have this pronounced silver lining effect uh, around them and that's because uh, the fog the clouds are made of is usually anisotropic so we want to increase directionality in a positive number in a positive way not in a negative but in a positive because that means the light will continue to go forward more. But uh, I would suggest for clouds value like 0.6 or 0.5. Do not go too high because the more anisotropic the volume is, the harder it is to sample and the slower it will, to, it will render. So you can see we are starting to get that nice silver lining effect. All right, so now we are going to throw in a corona displays modifier a corona displacement modifier uh, but first of all uh, to make our rendering a bit faster we are going to temporarily disable the single bounds only our cloud is going to show up as a gray fog but it's gonna as you can see it renders a lot faster almost instantly so now we are focusing just on the shape of the cloud uh, let's duplicate the noise make it smaller like 25 and put it into displacement give it a second and now let's try to increase displacement 0.2 maybe uh, minus 0.1 so it's displaced from the center like this Okay, that's starting to look nice. I'm actually going to decrease the size even further to like 10. Yep, that's more like it. And decrease the displacement back because this is displaced too much. We can also try different noise types, but fractal is usually the best one for this kind of thing. We can try to play with the curve, see if that helps us or not. This looks interesting. Let's try like this. Actually, I'm going to lower the displacement even further. We do not so much we do not need so much of the surface detail. This is actually starting to look pretty nice. So now if I turn on turn back on the GI scattering, we are getting already some nice cloud. This looks more like a foam, so let's make it even softer like 0.1 and looking around this looks like a nice cloud maybe this is too much so like 0.75 okay and let's get our sound a little further down to make like a nice sunset like this let's play with our exposure slightly so we get some more interesting color crank up the contrast 
and we have nice cloud. So now that we have this this nice cloud, let's also create some like cloud layer and we will have our nice cloud sitting on top of it. So I'm going to create a plane like this. Push it here. Push it under. The plane is going to have four starters like 64 by 64 or 128 by 128 subdivisions. Convert it to editable poly. I am going to extrude the edges downwards. Maybe even more. And I'm going to create another plane which doesn't need to have much subdivisions but uh, the volume material always need to have some volume if there was uh, the bottom was empty then uh, the volume couldn't be calculated so we need something like where the ray terminates and uh, what it will calculate the depth of the volume from so let's get our second plane snap it to the bottom uh, the reason I didn't use shell modifier is because we would have unnecessarily too much uh, topology on the bottom where we do not need it. So let's make uh, this other plane smaller. Let's make it just so it barely covers the bottom of the cloud layer geometry like this. And now let's assign our cloud material to the box. And again, to have faster preview while we work, let's enable temporarily single bounce only. Isolate only these two and uh, I want enable I want to enable render hidden lights so our sun is where it's supposed to be. Okay. So now let's Put in turbo smooth or two on top of that, and the displays modifier on top of that, and let's grab another noise, put it into displays modifier, and let's start playing with this. Let's enable lumen and center so it uh, extrudes. Uh, in both or it displaces in both directions and right now let's start tweaking our noise so again turbulence i am going to make it larger i'm going to make it maximal detail so 10 levels and i'm gonna try to stretch it in one direction this is not the one actually yeah this is the one I let's look against the sun. We can see those fluffy clouds here. And maybe this is too deep, so let's try 0.6 meters. That looks better. We can try to modify the curve to make them maybe slightly more pointy. Compensate for it by increasing the displacement strength. Move it upwards a little bit. We can go back to base editor poly and extend this border so we have enough space there. There we go. That doesn't look bad. We have uh, five, 500,000 polygons so we can afford one more turbo smooth. Let's give it a second. There we go. And now let's add some detail on top of the geometry. So let's add noise. Let's set it to one, just small scale, enable fractal. And let's start increasing the values. We do not want too much, too much overlapping of the polygons. Otherwise, it's going to render really slow, as you can see right now. So the values have to be obviously a lot smaller. So now I have just 0 0.01 in each direction. That doesn't seem to be enough, enough actually. So let's slowly increase them, but maybe we want to have slightly larger noise. 
and let's try 0 0.05 that may be again too much of noise but we can start to see some detail on top of the clouds yep this is too much so again increase this to 3 decrease this to like 0 0.3 we need to strike the right balance between surface noise but also we don't need to we don't want to have too much overlapping faces this actually looks nice So again, tweak the values once more. This is really a trial and error process. There are no like predefined values that works well, work well. So you will have to go through this yourself. I think I'm going to settle at these values. Again, you can see this is how our surface looks. This is how our clouds look. Okay, so let's exit the isolation. Let's grab our little cloud. Let's first establish some nice camera angle like this. Now let's grab our little cloud, find some nice silhouette angle maybe this one perhaps make it even larger and put it right here tweak the camera angle even more this looks nice overall i could make these clouds even softer just slightly so let's try 0.1 0.15 maybe that's too much let's go with 0.1 and all we need to really do now is just uh, uncheck single bounce only and let our render cook uh, the, the volume uh, without single bounce only will scatter GI as well this usually takes quite a while to render so uh, this is this is definitely not going to be fast to render this approach, uh, but uh, it, it it will render still in a reasonable time and it will give you really nice results as you can see here. So just I can maybe play with the colors a little bit more as you can see here. Mm. yep so i think this is it for the clouds tutorial you can see how how we made these these nice clouds and i hope you found it useful and i'll see you next time goodbye